All right, hey, welcome to the Jackson Kayak Factory here in Sparta, Tennessee. I'm Damon Bungar, the product manager here at Jackson. Today we're going to talk about our new fishing kayak, the Big Rig. This kayak is loaded with features, so we're going to take our time, go through bow to stern, top to bottom, talk about all the features in detail, hopefully answer all your questions. Why the Big Rig and who is it for? So the, big, the inspiration behind the Big Rig was to make the ultimate stand-up fishing platform. You know, we have all these great fishing kayaks in our lineup, and yet some people still aren't comfortable standing in a fishing kayak. So we wanted to make one that's the widest in our lineup at 37 inches wide, a little over 13 feet long, tailored towards the bass fishermen, lakes, ponds, inshore fishermen, redfish. So super stable boat, easy to learn to stand in, get comfortable standing in. We took a lot of our standard features from other fishing kayaks, brought them into this package, and added some new ones. So you'll see a lot of unique features. We work closely with our partners at Ram, Yak Attack, Nalgene, Plano, and now Raymarine and Powerpole to give you the ultimate package and the ultimate fishing experience in the Big Rig. So first let's talk about the Big Rig's haul. What is it all about? It's 37 inches wide, almost two inches wider than the Big Tuna, which is our tandem kayak. So a super stable haul. We basically modified the Cuda haul into the Big Rig haul. You'll see almost a tri-keel system that really aids in tracking. So a super versatile combination of tracking, maneuverability, and speed. Like all of our fishing kayaks, the Big Rig comes standard with a removable replaceable skid plate. So as it wears out, you can just pop a new one on and keep going. We'll also see in the front two large scuppers, which are perfectly sized for the Raymarine transducer, an optional kit shown here. We'll touch more on that later. Let's talk about just the bow section of the Big Rig. Lots of features just in those first few feet. Standard Jackson kayak fishing handle, snag free. On that you'll notice a hook. This hook helps secure your stand assist bar. This is a standard feature on the big rig. Again, helping aid, giving you that third point of contact to make you feel comfortable while you're standing. Also provides a paddle rest when both legs are deployed. We'll look at more detail on that in a little bit. In within the stand assist bar, you'll notice a very large oversized hatch. So big hatch, easy to get dry bags in and out for any gear storage you want inside the kayak. Slight scoop in the, in the hatch to help with paddle storage underneath the blades. Lockable tabs, rod storage along the hatch, very similar to the Kusa hatch. Outside of the stand assist bar, you'll notice two more thermoform pieces and some troughs leaving. These are the rod troughs. So the, like the Kilroy, the Big Rig has full length rod protection and storage on the sides of the kayak. The tips go in the, un, under these covers and then the rod itself is stored along the side of the kayak fully protected from your paddle stroke. Okay, so you notice on the, on the stand assist bar, there's two fixed pins and two removable pins. This is so that while on the water, you can deploy the bar as you see fit. So you can simply pull pin, pull the pin, keep the loop of material in your hand, and as you pull it up, the bar is ready to be deployed. You can locate the fixture, replace the pin, and you're good to go. So using the sand assist strap, I can raise myself and I have this nice third point of contact while fishing to help, help with comfort. You can lean against it, you can lay your pad across it, but it gives you that extra point of contact to help you feel comfortable standing in your fishing kayak. Okay, so let's talk about the center standing area on the big rig. Lots of space here, lots of features built in as well. You know, there's a lot of the standard ones between all of our fishing kayaks. The joint Jackson Kayak GoPro mount built in, stand assist strap. Nalgene bottle holder, but you're also going to notice some new ones built into the big rig. A track systems, man, the Yak Attack tracks you'll see on the side rails and on the center rail. This is for customization. The, the big rig comes with a standard Yak Attack screw ball with a Ram 2007 style holder. Works with universal fly, fly rods, spin rods, bait casters, doesn't matter. So this comes standard. Accessories like these can be screwed on, attached, tightened down, move close to you if you want to anchor and fish with things close. You can move them away from you when you want to paddle. The center one is a great spot for our, the Raymarine uh, user display. We'll go, we'll go through more detail on that in a minute. Um, nice wide open area, very stable, super customizable. So earlier we touched on how well the Raymarine transducer fits into the front two scuppers of the big rig. You know, one thing we wanted to focus on with the big rig was the ease of electronics installation. So this spring you're going to see a transducer installation kit coming out showing how easy it is to mount a Raymarine Dragonfly transducer or other transducer right up into the hull of the kayak, nice and protected. Here you can see our display mounted on the center track using a ram arm system. Super convenient, easy to adjust. 
get closer to you, farther away from you. So the premise around this, the transducer kit for the big rig is a plate on top, bungees pulling from underneath, squeezing the transducer in place. This is what it looks like after installation. This is a preliminary kit. But this will be available this spring. One of my favorite features of the Fly Fisherman is that I can remove everything from this front area, put it in tracks in the back, and have a super clean area for stripping my fly line. Nothing to grab my fly line as I strip and cast. So here in the main seating area of the big rig, you'll notice a standard Jackson Kayak feature of our patented high-low elite seat. So we have the high position to help aid in standing up, sitting down. You can also lower this down into the low seating position for a lower seat, a lower, lower ride. On our seat for 2014, you'll notice the new LBJ lumbar pad. This is the uh, lower back jack presidential seating. This is kind of taken from our whitewater technology. Uh, we'll kick it over to EJ and Drew now to explain it a little bit better. All right, with the new LBJ back jack here, the lower back jack, the presidential seating, we've got our president, Eric Jackson, here to demonstrate exactly how this works. So, EJ, can you show us how this thing works? All right, thanks, Drew. Yeah, basically, we've got uh, the lower back jack uses the same technology you're seeing in, in backboards that our EMTs are using these days. Basically, a beanbag system will actually contour to your body. It's a, it's a simple system. It's got a bunch of loose bean bags in an airtight bladder. One puff of air in, lean back against it until it feels perfect on your on your lower back. Suck the air out, tuck the tube away. Now if you check it out, lumbar perfectly supported. And this of course is important because when you go fishing, you want to go fishing all day long. Nice. Okay. On either side of the seat, you'll notice New for, new for this year, some Jackson Kayak custom Plano boxes come standard with the boat. So you'll have side storage right next to the seat conveniently. You can also store underneath the seat. So behind the seat, you'll see a large storage area. Uh, this is sized to fit the, J the Jackson Kayak fishing crate, the J crate. There are scuppers back here if you want to plumb it for inlet and outlet, if you want to use it for a bait tank or a live well. Uh, simple bungee system to open and open and close and attach secure whatever you have behind it. Either side you'll ha see the same track system as the front, the Yak Attack tracks. So you can move everything from the front to the stern if you want. You can add more to the stern. Uh, very customizable feature. Left and right of the seat you'll see the Ram Tough Base, Ram Tough Tube and the Ram Post Base. So here's the Ram Tough Tube system that we have on the big rig. You'll notice super strong, super adjustable. You can change, you loosen the nut change the angle, tighten it back down. There's also a release pin. You can pull that. This accessory comes out. You can put a different accessory in or you can change the angle of how it mounts. You can also on these you'll notice a geared section on one side where you can mount them in from the side. As we move to the stern of the kayak, you're going to notice another, th another thermoform hatch, very similar to the bow. Locking tab, removable with the bungee. You'll notice handles on the side, large handles on the side. This particular model is a rudder version. You can also you hold your hand underneath. There's a scoop in the back for an anchor line. Uh, it comes power pull micro ready. Super cool feature. We'll go into more, some more detail on. And you're going to notice some channeling and different guide systems. This is also you can rig you can rig a big rig complete with a rudder, an anchor, and a power pull if you so choose or any combination thereof. So we'll go into that detail now. So this big rig is equipped with the optional true course rudder system from Sealac Designs. Very simple deployment. You'll notice a bead and a, and a hook here on the side. So we, with your hand, you can grab it, unhook that eyelet. Rudder will deploy and drop. Control with your feet. To secure, just pull forward again. Rehook on the hook. All set. So the recess and these inserts are sized around the Sea Dog zigzag cleat system. Fits here. This spring, Jess and Cock, we're offering a big rig anchor kit that will come with the Sea Dog cleat, hardware for it, a length of rope, and an anchor, so you can rig the whole system yourself. So underneath the two nylon screws, you'll find quarter 20 inserts, space for the Sea Dog cleat. using half inch quarter 20 hardware. Those will screw right in. So once the zigzag cleats installs, you'll notice the tube behind it. 
That anchor line feeds through this tube, goes into the boat, and then exit, exits back out of the boat, right back here. So once exited, the anchor line travels through this channel, under the eyelets, and down into the anchor hole. Now this anchor hole is tucked up and recessed, so when you do have your anchor and you pull it tight, it mo it's mostly up out of the water and out of the way, stopping drag. There's a lot of options on how to use the zigzag cleat, but basically the rope just winds through and around it, securing off in various configurations. Uh, if you don't want an anchor system at all, these inserts are still good for the quarter 20 Ram Tough Balls. So you can install Ram Tough Balls or put accessories there if you don't want to use an anchor. So on the back of the big rig, you're going to notice a distinct four insert pattern. Those inserts are there again to accept the power pole micro anchor system. This is the mounting bracket, sized perfectly there. If you are, as we showed earlier, using a rudder, you can offset that bracket. Now along the sides, just like on the anchor, anchor line, you're going to notice eyelets for routing an emergency release cable that comes with the power pole system. That ball, the emergency release ball, mounts into the insert at the front right of your seat. If you choose to route the cordage for that inside the kayak, you'll notice little molded recesses. So you can also route that cable internally if you choose to. So when you pull the release ball to the side of your seat for the micro anchor, what you're doing is you're pulling on this lever. When the lever's back, the power pole is, well, the pole will be fixed into the ground or into the substrate. When you pull on the cord, the latch flips forward, and now the power pole can rotate and it can be freed if necessary. Okay, so that's a detailed walkthrough of the new Jackson Kayak Big Rig. Hope you enjoyed it. Lots of great features on this fishing kayak. Uh, really excited about what it's going to do. If uh, you have any more questions, please check out jacksonkayak.com. You can look at specs, find your local dealer, maybe go for a test paddle. Have fun on the water.